Hey everybody, this is Nemo and in today's Press the Shop video we will see how to automatically remove out of stock products from a customer's cart. And of course, display a message about it as well. So first off, as always, if you're using a Press the Shop version newer than 1.6.0.11, you can use overrides instead of uh, modifying the original PHP as I'm about to do. Because uh, to be quicker, I will just uh, modify the core. And that said, we will need to edit the blockcard.php and blockcard.tpl files. And this last one being in the theme folder. So theme folder, modules, blockcard. All right, uh, let's get started. First off, I will, of course, add a product to my cart. And I choose this one. This is one of my latest modules. Let's check it's still there. Okay. And let's deal with the PHP core. So uh, I have blockcard.php open up here, and it's uh, modules slash blockcard slash blockcard.php. So I will find about line 64 here, and right before the for each products loop, let's initialize the array that will hold any eventual product we remove. So moved equals array and then we need to modify the for each loop itself and add the key so we can re remove um, from it out of stock elements so um, as let's call it for a key product and then inside it right before adding to the total number of bits let's check if we still have stock so if product quantity available is less or equal than zero oops zero and product is available when out of stock I hope I'm not doing any major spelling mistake so we'll just check with product and should be out of stock. Okay, so if this condition's met, then I will remove the product uh, from the cart. So this context cart lead product, product, oops. And I will add a bunch of variables here. I will just copy and paste them to be quick. Okay, should be these ones, product. All right, so we need the ID, the attribute ID, the customization ID, and the uh, address delivery ID. Okay, then let's add this to the removed array so we can inform the customer. Unset the entry in the products array the list and then continue since we want to skip the next uh, code okay great um, we could stop here if we didn't care about informing the customer but we do so the next step is adding the removed products uh, list to the template using of course the removed variable we just filled in so around line 130 133 let's add some variables here. So removed products equals removed. And then we need another one, which is cart underscore QTs. And make sure you name it this way exactly. Equals integer this context cart and B products. Should be like this. So this latter one is necessary to override the one assigned by the front controller, which would otherwise still display the old number. Great. So let's finally head over to the template. So it's in the theme folder. Let me show you in the theme folder. The fault bootstrap, my case, but your theme name, modules, block card, and it's block card .tpl. And of course, if your theme doesn't have it, just hop back to the original folder and edit that one. 
Um, we could add all sorts of fancy things here, but to keep it quick, I will just use a simple alert box. So first off, let's check that we do, oops, that we do actually have some products that have been removed. So script if um, removed products. Let's create a JavaScript array to hold them. So var removed products equals new array. Okay. Then preach. Now we need to fill this array in. So let's loop through the original smarty variable. So for each from removed products. And this is referring to the smarty variable, not the JavaScript one. Item PRD, let's call it PRD, removed products. And this one is the JavaScript one. Maybe I should have used a different name. Uh, push. And we need a string, so PRD. All right. Almost done. So let's create a string out of the um, removed products list, which is now a JavaScript array. So we can, of course, echo it out. So var products um, string equals removed products. Again, this is a JavaScript array. Join. And let's use comma and space. Okay, lastly, let's alert it out. And um, make sure you also use the press the shop language tag so it's later possible to translate it. So alert. And I hope I will not do any, any big, big mistake here. So um, let's see. Oh, S. And we'll just copy the string I wrote before. So I'm quicker. So the following products have been removed from your cart as they're out of stock. And let me add mod block card just to make it translatable plus products string. Oops. Okay. Great. Unless, again, I made some big mistake, we should be done. So let's check it out. I should still have them. Now, okay. I'll go back and we'll set it to zero. All right, the following products have been removed from your cart as they're out of stock. Press the shop as your URLs. Great, cart empty. All right, this product is no longer in stock, as you can see. So, cool, it works. As you could see, it was not too much trouble. So, all right, um, we're done for today's video. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe to the channel, uh, the YouTube channel, and keep up with the site at nemops.com. As always, thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you in the next video.